Hey guys, it's Adrian from BHA here bringing you the second part of this video. So of course, uh, earlier this week you saw the first part, which was uh, basically the installation of sonar. Uh, but now we're on to the second part, which uh, today we're going to uh, discuss installing Jacket. Now Jacket is basically an indexer for all of your torrent uh, download sites. It will add all the different torrent sites that you want. Uh, and it will go out and search all those sites for what you're looking for. And it works pretty well with uh, Sonar and the whole Sonar setup, so that's a pretty good deal. And I know I did Sonar on Linux, but I thought uh, I would stick with running jacket in docker i feel like that's a pretty easy install and i think it runs pretty well and pretty smoothly in docker and didn't want to muddy that up with a different install and it should be able to communicate just fine between the linux machine and docker uh, for whatever it needs to uh, moving along let's uh, do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video so of course for starters we're going to uh, create a, uh, a directory in our home folder uh, for our jacket config. Uh, once we do that, then we will install jacket in a Docker container. All right, once that's done, we need to configure jacket. Basically, just uh, add our indexers uh, for all of our download sites. All right, once we configure jacket, then we're going to add that jacket indexer into Sonar. And then lastly, of course, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So again, we're going to start by creating a directory which will house our jacket config. Uh, basically, just if we ever needed to uh, remove our uh, Docker container or delete it out, we could uh, install a new copy of it and point it at that jacket config and we'd be good to go. So in my home directory, I'm just going to do a, a sudo mkdir jacket, and that's it for this step. Uh, like I said, all I need is that directory to uh, store our config. So let's move on to that next step. All right, so we're going to install jacket uh, using Docker Compose. And I'll have everything in the uh, description below, so you can just copy and paste it. Anyway, I'm going to edit my uh, docker compose.yaml file here, find me an open spot uh, down towards the bottom, carve out a little section for jacket here. Uh, let's see, for the uh, container name, it will be jacket. I have three variables that I need to add for the environment. So the first one will be the PUID, which is 1000. Uh, PGID, which is also 1000. And then for my time zone, uh, TZ equals, and then whatever your time zone is, mine is America slash Chicago. You'll set yours, whatever yours is. All right, now for volumes. Uh, the volume, again, this is the directory that we just created for our jacket config. So mine is slash home, slash Adrian, slash jacket, colon, slash config. Now for the ports, it's a 9117, colon, 9117. Uh, that is the default port for jacket. We're going to set the restart to always. And then, of course, uh, for our image, it is Linux server, slash jacket. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we're going to do a sudo docker-compose up-d uh, so that it will do the install here for Jacket. All right, once that's done installing, we'll jump over to Portainer just to take a look and make sure everything uh, looks okay. And as you can see here, everything seems to be set up correctly. And even 
in the logs there, it shows that it's now listening on port 9117. I think we're good to go. Let's uh, move on to that next step. All right, so here we are in Jacket. Obviously, to uh, access this web interface, we just go to the IP address of our uh, Docker host machine, which for me is 10.10.10.28, colon, and then the port number, which is 9117. As you can see, it comes up. It's a pretty simple setup. There's not a lot of configuration that needs to be done here, other than we need to start adding in all of our indexers. So if you hit the uh, Add Indexer there at the top, there's a huge list, and they're broken out in different categories as far as what they offer to be able to download. And they also break them out into type, which is private, semi-private, and public. Unless you have access to a private uh, torrent site, whether you pay for a membership or anything like that, you're probably going to want to use the public ones, which should be completely fine because there are tons of them. Now for the language, obviously you're going to choose whatever your language is. Uh, that you want to be able to download from. So I, of course, am looking for the uh, US versions of all the torrent sites, so there are tons of those here. So basically, you find the one that you want, you hit that little green plus on the end right there, and it should automatically add it. And as you can see there, it added my first site. And when you want to add another one, you just hit the plus again, and you search for the next one you want. And boom, it adds it the same as well. So basically, it's a pretty easy uh, little setup here. Uh, we'll kind of fast forward through this. You're going to want to add all these indexers that you can possibly add. Uh, the more indexers you have, of course, the better chance you have of getting a decent download. All right, so I've kind of fast forwarded here. As you can see, I've added all the different US uh, torrent sites that I wanted to add that were in the list there. And if I was to hit a uh, test next to one of these, uh, of course, it'll go out and uh, do a check and everything, make sure everything looks good, and should come back test successful. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step. All right, so of course, in order to add Jacket into Sonar, we need that uh, API key. Uh, so we'll grab that at the top of our uh, Jacket web interface here. It's listed right up there at the top. Make a copy of that. And then we're going to jump over here to Sonar, and we'll add in our indexer. Now, as you can see, I've already got it added, but we're going to go ahead and show you what you would do anyway. So uh, you would certainly hit that plus symbol there. Under indexers, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on jacket just to show you what it looks like. I called mine jacket, of course. And then for the URL for that, it's going to be the IP address of your uh, host machine that's running jacket. Uh, the port number is 9117, and that's slash torsnav, T O R Z N A B, slash all. And of course, I'll have all this in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it. All right, and this is the uh, API key that we copied just a minute ago. You will just paste that in here from our uh, jacket configuration. Uh, you can do a test down here at the bottom. And of course you see that it succeeded. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it, and we have our first indexer added into Sonar. Pretty simple. Now that we have that added, let's go ahead and head over to that last step and just kind of see what that looks like in action. All right, so under the series section of Sonar, uh, we're just going to add in another series. As you can see here, I've already got a couple of them added. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add one more uh, just to kind of walk through and show you how that works. So we'll hit that Add Series button up here at the top. And then, of course, uh, if you haven't already selected your path, it'll ask you what path or directory you want to monitor for your newly uh, added series. So I'm going to do a search for Cobra Kai. This is a, uh, a series that's on YouTube. It kind of follows the Karate Kid uh, after uh, the movies ended and stuff like that. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of a cool one to add. I think there's a couple of seasons there. So right now it is going to search for Cobra Kai 
inequality. So this is where you would select uh, your profile. Uh, you choose what kind of quality you wanted and uh, series type. It's just a standard series. We'll leave that the same. I'm going to leave my profile for any. By default, it's going to go out and get the best quality that it can download especially if you put any under the profile, but if it can only get a lower grade, then of course it will be forced to download that. And just to kind of speed this along, we're going to jump over to the wanted section here. And uh, there's a list of all the Cobra Kai episodes. We're going to select one of these and we'll force a search. And just to kind of give you an idea, I'm going to go over to system under the log. And as you can see in the logs, it did find something uh, on one of the torrent sites. It sent that download file to uh, Transmission. So let's jump over to Transmission, our web interface here. And as you can see down at the bottom, Cobra Kai Episode 4 Season 2 is being downloaded. That's it. So as you can see, we're using Sonar. It's going to pull in all the latest episodes. As you can see, it's still working on some of my other episodes there from Animal Kingdom that I have as one of my other series that I've monitored. But that is uh, that is the end of this video. Pretty simple setup. We got Jacket installed. We got it added into Sonar. And of course, now it is able to use that as its indexer. And of course, stay tuned for that third video, which will be NZB Hydra, and we'll handle all the news groups and stuff like that and get that added into Sonar as well. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we uh, created our directory for our jacket configuration. Once we did that, we installed jacket in Docker. Uh, once that was installed, we went ahead and configured jacket. Basically, just added all of our indexers. Once that was done, then we added our jacket indexer into Sonar. And lastly, of course, I showed you what that looked like in action. That's the end of the video, guys. Again, not a super hard setup. Uh, we were able to get it working pretty well, pretty easily. If you haven't ch checked out jacket and Sonar yet, definitely check those out. Check out that first video uh, to show you how to set up Sonar. Again, thanks to everyone that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.